Boker Tov, today's daf is daf Vav in Ksubis, <clears throat> as we wish her four Shlemer for Yosef Hasriel, Ben Chaim Michal, and Elosu Ben Reuma. Yesterday we began the discussion of are you allowed to have Bia with a Vasula virgin for the first time? In other words, this is the first time that she's going to have Bia and lose her virginity on a Friday night. So the Brysa we said back on the other days, we said on Shabbos, the, the, the Brysa had said, that you cannot because of Chabura. The Gemara brought down a Brisa on Sunday's daf, which said that you cannot, uh, but we came out there. The reason is the same as on Erev Shabbos, Matzari Shabbos, you can't because possibly you'll come to Shecht on Shabbos for the meal. That was, that. so that was this, that was uh, put aside by that. It had nothing to do with the Chabura, but the Brisa on Gemam days, it said, because you do a Chabura and because you're making a wound, you're drawing blood on Shabbos. So, that's the question that were raised yesterday. Uh, are you allowed to uh, are you allowed to have beer for the first time on Shabbos? So the question went back and forth between Rab Shimon and Rab Yehuda. Is it Rab Shimon Moscow? You're not really trying to draw to, to get the blood. Uh, and um, even if uh, even if you are, is it Makalko Bahabura? Uh, you're just damaging and therefore it's mutter. And if the question is simply, are you building something, you're completing the woman by opening, by opening her up. Um, is that considered like building? Uh, so we came out, we said, no, that that's uh, mechanical. It's just damaging. It's not really building. You say, and maybe there's no reasons to say. That. And we came out at the top of the page at Davav We said in, this, in, the, in the town of Rav, uh, they said that Rav is Mater and Shmuel said that it's Osir to have Bia the first time on Friday night with the Psula. In Ardor, which was Shmuel's town, they said that Rav was one Rasser and Shmuel said that it was Mutter. And Amr of Nachman in the third line, Rabbi Yitzchak, the similar to somebody should remember who says what is Elam and Lots and Guts. In other words, in each town, they said that their rabbi was the one who said that it's Mutter. Now we are going to come out uh, on tomorrow's daf and Mirza Shem is good. The Psak is going to be, we mentioned yesterday, that it is Mutter. You could have been for the first time. People did get married for uh, throughout history. They get married on Friday, and the first Bia was on a Friday night. So we're going to come out that it's Mutter. However, there's a discussion about it, as we see here, that even in, in Rav's town, where they said Rav was matur, they said Shmuel asr. In Shmuel's town, they said Shmuel was matur, but Rav was asr. But there's clearly different opinions. It says the Gemara the, at the end of the fourth line on Dabav Maral for Rav Shari. Does Rav really say that it's mutter? Uh, that it's mutter to have for the first time on Friday night with the Psul of Amr Rav Shimi Bar Chizki Mishmei the Rav? I'm a Sukhrai that is Isa. If you have the, uh, the stopper of a brewing bat, in other words, they, what they would do is they would have a brewing bat where they made beer. And the way they would stop it up was they would take like a rag, a shmata, smartut, and, and, and you know, bung up the hole and, and stop up the hole. He says that kind of a stopper, also a duka biyamatov. You can't do it on yantif. You can't stop it up and, you know, fasten it, squeeze it into the hole on yantif. Rashi learns because of schita, because when you do it, you're going to squeeze out, you're going to squeeze out the, the liquid. Tosa goes into all rikas that that only applies to water. He says because it's mafarik, because you're detaching it from one another. But in any case, there's some locha and lochas on yantif are also just as just as they are on Shabbos, except for ochel nefesh. This is not the ochel nefesh part. Here you're talking about stopping up a uh, a vat or a beer vat or a, bi a big uh, a big barrel of some sort um, that Why you're not allowed. Like, huh? Well, it's not makvash because it's not considered the same item. In other words, it's just the stopper. It's not part, part of the same item itself. You're not being makvapantish anything. The kli is there already. It's made with the hole in it. Uh, you know, the bung hole is in there already. It's like putting your shoelaces in the shoe. I don't know if that's uh, makvapantish. I don't know if that's makvapantish. The shoes, yeah, grade. that you're not allowed to put shoelaces in on Shabbos if you're shoelace for. Exactly. Maybe, I, I don't know. I don't because know. The I, there's certainly here. Without yeah. the shoelace. Yeah. Well, Whereas yeah, but, but it wasn't, a, but it was a clee before, you know, the shoelace tour. I don't know if you're completing it for the first time, maybe, I don't know. Or you could wear it without the shoelaces. So whatever. Yeah, so uh, how are you open up in a bottle? Well, you take out the cork out. Yeah, but that's already, the bottle's there already. The cork some is a separate piece. Know. Some people don't, some people don't because they're, they're I don't know if the reason of theirs because of makaba potash no. or because of tearing it or ripping it and that kind of a thing, making uh, the letters and things like that. I don't think anybody says it's makaba potash because the bottle is there already. The cork or the cover was a separate item. It's not like it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not makaba. Again, not taking out. 
Yeah, yeah, I understand. But here you're not putting it in permanently. You know, it's just a stopper. It's just like a stopper. It's like you close a, uh, you know, you're closing something and opening something. You're not putting it in there permanently. So I don't think it's a question mark. But Papa here, Rosh says the reason is because you're going to squeeze it out. Shita tells us because I'm a park. Either way, it's a malacha on yanta. So uh, the point then here is too. Um, uh, so how could you say that Rav says that it's mutter? Rav himself said, Shim Rosh said in the name of Rav that uh, you can't uh, you can't do this also laduka beyond you can't squeeze it in there on yantif and the idea here is uh, you're not allowed to and clearly rob therefore holds like rav yehuda that it's also right that it's a, a devilish, even though is that your intention to squeeze it out your intention not to squeeze it out your intention is to stop up the hole so okay, double shade So by mistake, you know, by you're not you're planning on doing that. So the question here is, how can Rav say that it's mutter, meaning we aren't like Rav Shimon double shade miskaven? The man over here is not uh, uh, trying to draw blood or cause a wound. He's just having his own hana, right? He's complete. He's doing the mitzvah, and uh, his that is intention. He might want to draw blood, but his intention is not to make a wound on Shabbos. That's not his intention. So. Uh, uh, Rabbi Yehuda says in that case, even though it's not his intention, it's also Rav apparently says that it's mutter to do the bia. But we're here, Rav says that Dabashan Muscovin is also in the case of the stopper. The answer is, uh, the Gemara says, no, but who in that case, I feel Shimon, even if Shimon holds Dabashan Muscovin as mutter, holds like that in that case with the stopper. It's also the Bai Rabbi Dhamma Tavayan, Motor of Shimon, Sikresh Volyom. It's famous, remember we mentioned it yesterday, that even Rabbi Shimon holds Dabashan Muscovin, if that's not my intention, it's mutter. But Pesik Resha, Pesik Resha means you cut off the chicken's head uh, below Yomas is not going to die. In other words, where you do something, it's obvious going to happen and you want it. Let's call it, let's call it Pesik Resha, the Nechale or the uh, Ichbesle, where you, you want to do it. it. It's obvious, you know, you want to stop it up. You know that the, that the liquid is going to squeeze out of there. There, everybody says that it's also. Before I disagree, the, the debate, what's the concept of Pesik Resha for Yomas? One idea is that when you do psik resh, even the double shame miskavan, that makes like you have kavana. You can't say I didn't intend for it to happen. You know, I, I didn't intend for it to happen. It's, it, it's clear that it's going to happen. It's there's no question it's going to happen. As we'll see in the case of bia, not necessarily going to draw blood. Not all cases do you draw blood, and some people know how to do the bia without drawing the blood, and we'll talk about that. But here it's not psik but but in the case of the the, the Nazaisa, where you're putting a shmata into a barrel or a, or a vat to close it up, it's clear that when you squeeze it in, that is you squeeze it in, that liquid will be will be drawn out. And therefore that's psik So everybody's moda. Ivan Rashi, Rabuda. Wait a minute. Okay, fine. So you've explained that that's psik ratio. But in general, the concept of how can you do a bia and you're going to cause a chabura on Friday night and draw blood? Okay, he says that it's that Davashem is Kavas Mutter. Rav Chibaravan, Rav Chibaravan, Masla Velo Gavri. He didn't learn that it was Rav Chibarashi who said the name of Rav and Rav Hanan Barami who said the name of Shmuel, but he just said, learned it directly. Rav Amra Lach Rav Yudo, Shmuel Amra Lach Rav Shimon. So if, uh, if, how can you say, we well, can understand now that in Shmuel's town, they said Shmuel says that you're allowed to be for the first time on Friday night because he also Lach Lach Rav Shimon, Davashem is Kavan is Mutter. And therefore, you're allowed to do it on Friday night, and we said it's not psik ratio because he's not for sure going to draw the blood. It's it's basically impossible to put the rag into the vat or the barrel and squeeze it without squeezing some liquid out. So there, it's psik ratio. This is not psik ratio. But Rav has holds like a Buddha. Dovashem is Kavan is also. So how can Rav say that it's mutter to have beer for the first time on Friday night? Says, well, oh, the Rav Kabbuda is really. You're right. Rav does look like a Buddha. Lahach Mishnah. He explained the yesterday on the base. The first way we learned when, when we asked the question, we said, what is the status of the blood in, uh, in the uh, v- vaginal area of the woman? Uh, the blood that before, that before she's had beer for the first time when the hymen is still there, what is the status of the blood? We said that the dam is not really in the walls or in, in, the, in her flesh, but it's really like stored up. It's like stored up in a pouch and, um, and then he's opening it. So So what's the issue over there? If the blood is stored up, if not the wound is not, you're not causing blood to come from a wound, but rather the issue could be that you're building an opening. So the answer is no, that's not building, that's considered damaging. So that's, 
Of course, Dov Hashem is Gavin is also. Dov Hashem is Gavin is also. But what's your Kavana over here? Even if, even if you say Dov Hashem is Gavin is like you had Kavana and it's also to do, but over here, what's the issue? Chabur, it's not because the Dam is not really in the flesh. Again, we said yesterday, there's no machlokus about the Metzius over here. Doctors will tell you there's blood in there, blood in the flesh, do we know where, whatever it is. That the machlokus says, what is the halachic status? Is the blood like it's stored up? Because there's, the, there's dam sulim, which is different than menstrual blood. Uh, so is that blood uh, stored up? And therefore, you're not drawing out, you're not cussing out by chabur. The question is, is it doing an opening? And for the opening, we said it's considered damaging. And therefore, Rob would say that it's mutter, even though he holds like a Buddha. Davashem Skaven is also, but over here, what's what are you doing? There's no malacha of Chabura because the blood, blood is stored up. And are you building an opening? No, that's considered destroying. So there's no Isra on Shabbos. Lahachmish, the second way to learn the Omer Dam Chaburi Mechbar. The truth is that the Dam is in, in the walls of her vagina, and you are causing a wound. The Makalko Bachabura here. Here you're doing a your Makalko. Why, why is it Makalko Rav Savik of Yuda? And Ra and Rabbi Yudal's Makav is 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 uh, is uh, Lakula, and he's and he says your potter. Now he doesn't really say it's mutter, but he says Makalko is your potter. Makalko Chabura, meaning if you make a Chabura, uh, like let's say you shechted on Shabbos. Now there's there's a classic case. You did a Chabura. You cut somebody's hand on Shabbos on purpose. So you you did a you did a Chol Shabbos. But if you're ruining something, damaging something. Then Rabbi Yehuda holds Makachabura is Potter. Not like we hear of Shimon is always Makel by Dabashem Miskaven and by Melach Shen Srich Laguf. He's more Makel than Rabbi Yehuda. When it comes to Makachabura, Rabbi Shimon is one of his Machmer and Rabbi Yehuda holds his, his Makel. So therefore, we're saying like this Rav indeed holds it like Rabbi Yehuda, Dabashem Miskaven is, is, is Osir, right? Dabashem Miskaven is Osir. Over here, though, either because he's not making a Chabura if you hold Dam Nifka pocket, and as far as building the opening, that's considered a uh, a kilkul is considered a damaging. And if you hold that he is causing a chabura, that he is, th that the, uh, the, when you have beer with a, with a psula and blood comes out, you did make a wound there, but makalka b'chabura, because you're damaging the chabura, your pots are on Shabbos. So your pots are, and presumably because of the mitzvah, you're allowed to do it, you're allowed to be kind of mitzvah on Friday night. No, 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 no. no. If, I'm sure I make a chabura on purpose. Yeah. Right, right, right. Go punch somebody in the nose. That's right. You're putting. That's Makalka. Mm -hmm. right? right, right, right. That's right. Makalka b'chabura. But if you're damaging something, you're putter. According to your putter. Rabbi Shimon says you're chayyim. Don't get any ideas. Right, any ideas. Right. If it's clearly being Makalka, <laughs> you're saying you're trying to straighten out his nose because he's yeah. crooked before. <laughs> then you could argue about it. But Makalka, uh, Makalka b'chabura. Rabbi Yudah holds this putter. So that's how that's how we can understand that even though Rob holds like Rabbi Yudah, the Dov Shem is Gavin is also, but he says you're allowed to have beer for the first time on Friday night. But we saw the other opinions. It says that you're not allowed to have beer for the first time on Friday night. So now the Gemara is going to try to ask Kashas on those other opinions, not on Rob's opinion, the other opinion. Must Rav Chista, Tino Kashli Gizmanalurus. Let's say a young girl who has not started to have her period yet. She's a young girl. Then this is she got married. Remember, we said there's a difference between Dam Sulem. And Dam Nida. Today we don't know those differences. So today we say if a woman, a man marries a, a, a woman of Sula, and as soon as there's blood there, he must withdraw and starts regular, like a menstrual period by, uh, by a chuppah. They say it's four plus seven, not five plus seven, but whatever. But you have to consider it like menstrual blood. But in the time of the Gemara, where they knew the difference, they said like this that if a woman hasn't yet, a, a young girl hasn't yet started seeing her, she hasn't had a period yet. And she got married. Bishami says, "No, Slamberle, so you give her four nights. Meaning, during those four nights, every any dam that she saw, that's uh, that's dam sulam. That's dam sulam. That's not. She's not a nida. And he can continue sleeping with her night after night. Not what we do today." Bishami says, "No, Slamberle, so be sulam achetichiyamaka." Here, Rashi says, "Achetichiyamaka is as long as the wound caused by the first bia has not healed, he can continue having bia with her." Uh, every time she has beer with him, notice, as long as she's having beer with him, every time she has beer, blood comes out because of that. That's clearly because of the wound. It's not menstrual blood. So Basil seems to be more makeup. The Gemara neither discusses that and has a different opinion, but that's if she hasn't had a period yet. He gives modelers. Let's say she's, she's, she is uh, the time for seeing her, uh, for having periods has come. 
and she got mivin. This Bishami says no small reason. You only give her one night because the second night, third night already, you're considered that you're, you're, you're considered to be menstrual blood. So you only give her one night. And Rashi says you could have beer with her many times that one night. That's what Shami says. No small language. Again, this is not the Pesach today. So says, no. Even if she had her period, even if she had a period, you give her until Matzah Shabbos four nights. Now, what do we mean by that? Until Matzah Shabbos four nights. We say, when is when you get married to Absula? On Wednesday. So you got Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Matzah Shabbos. So Matzah Shabbos, four nights. That's what Basil says. Now, what do you mean by that? My love, what does it mean to say you give her four nights? Dilo ball, musty ball. Isn't he trying to say here, give her four nights? Girls say you give her four nights. They say that if he hadn't had beer yet, for whatever reason, he didn't have beer Wednesday night or Thursday night. They got drunk. Uh, she wasn't feeling well. It, you know, he didn't consummate Wednesday night or Thursday night. Mash, my love, Dilo ball. You could have beer. This is a proof to what we said, the opinion like Rob, that Rob said that you could have beer, like Shmuel said in Shmuel's town. But the other opinion is that you can't have beer. Here it's mash, lilo, ball, matzah, ball, afilo, b'shabbos, because it says four nights. You give her, now this doesn't say one whole night or whatever the night. It says here clearly four nights, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, shabbos, mash, that you can even have beer for the first time on Friday night. That's what we're assuming now. Amarabba, lo, labar, shabbos, we're not talking about shabbos. It means so much shabbos, but you can't do it for the first time. Abai, it is what Rabbi says. Abai, 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 Shabbos, that Rabbi is giving an answer to this question. Amalei, Abaye, Abai, Motsoi, Shabbos, Abalei, Luskani. It said, it said uh, until four, until Saturday night, Motsoi, Shabbos, four nights, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Shabbos. How can you say that it's not for, you're skipping Shabbos, you're skipping Friday night, <laughs> that otherwise you don't have four nights. It said four, uh, four nights. And that includes Friday night. If you're skipping Friday night, you don't have, if you're saying you can, you can have be a Wednesday night, Thursday night, or Mazda Shabbos, but not Friday night. So you don't have four nights. El Amaravak Shabal. Uh, you know what it's speaking about? Yeah, it's speaking. Maybe it shouldn't be four nights. No, no. Wait, yeah, no. Uh, which other night? He says, he says four nights until Saturday night. So that's four nights. If you don't, if you don't have, if you don't have consecutive nights, then you then you don't then you uh, you don't have four. You have four night from Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. There's no other way to get four. Elamur between Wednesday and Friday and Saturday night. There's only those four days. Elamur Ravik Shabal. You know what it's speaking about? You're right. You could have be on Friday night, but not for the first time. When it says you give her four nights, doesn't mean if you didn't do it Wednesday night, you didn't do it Thursday night. You could do it Friday night. No, it means if you already had be a Wednesday night, and a Thursday night, you could have be a also on Friday night. So each of all my kamash one, if you already have Bia, what's the Kiddush in that? And Rashi and Tosas both say over here, what's the point of saying Ad Motzah Shabbos? You think we can't count? Uh, uh, um, um, if he's only trying to tell you, listen, okay, he had Bia, and you should know the first four nights, it's Samsum, it's not menstrual blood. Is that what you're trying to say? So my kamash, why does he say Admut Sar Shabbos? Why Hayden Rakim Shabbos? What are you telling me? If my kamash will listen, you give her four nights. Just say, listen, you know what? The first four nights that you have Bia, the first four nights, it's all considered men, it's considered dam sulim, it's considered dam uh, virginity blood. It's not considered menstrual blood. Uh, what do you have to say Admut Sar Shabbos for? Ella Murabak Shabbos. Each of all my kamash, my kamash, and the shari the middle of the Shabbos. The finish is you're allowed to have Bia on Shabbos. What? What's the Kiddush in that? If you already had Bia, you're not even starting it. As we're, we're trying to explain, the Shita holds you, you can't have Bia for the first time on Friday night. So what does the Rebbe's Basel mean here? If you already had Bia on Wednesday or Thursday, you can have Bia again on Friday night. What, what's the Kiddush? Kiddush Shmuel, Dama Shmuel, Pirtz of the Chuka, Mutal Akonis, Bar Shabbos. Let's say you have a small, uh, you know, there was a hole was made in the wall uh, of your house or your hut, whatever. There was a broke, somebody broke through. Uh, whatever, however it happened, the, the wall broke through. And now you want to come into shul, or the, the, let's say the wall broke, and you want to come into shul, but it's all jagged, and there's loose pebbles and stuff like that. And you're afraid if you're going to come in on Shabbos, you might knock a few pebbles out. Shmuel says you're allowed to. Pierce at the chukah, if it's like a a forced entry, you know, that it's that it's not a regular door, you're allowed to go on Shabbos, even though you're going to knock out some pebbles. Here, the same, the same idea over here that even though the virginity is not 100% gone, you had Bia Wednesday night or Thursday night, and now when you do Friday night, you still might be knocking something out. You might be causing some uh, part of the hymen to be 
disrupted now, that's okay. That's the finish. In other words, it, we're explaining the idea, not the sock and not what Rob said, but according to one of says, you cannot have beer for the first time on Friday night. What did they sell me here? If you had beer already on Wednesday or Thursday, and there still might be some loose ends, some loose uh, flesh or whatever over there, you know, and you might say that's causing the wound, that you're allowed to do. Okay. What's the problem with Masha it, That it's okay. No, we're saying it's okay. You're allowed well, to. Oh, oh, in the, the wall? In the yeah, case in the of, wall. No, the because wall. you're 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 uh, you're not allowed to look at to uh, breaking the knee of and steer are two of the luchas on Shabbos. Right. So the third time luchas, one is yeah. steer, one is is oh, is uh, is yeah. demolishing, yeah. demolishing. Yeah. It, it, okay, you could say it's, it's demolishing, but it's part of demolishing. It's but it's it's the it's the reverse, uh, the opposite of uh, vinia. Those are two of the luchas on Shabbos. Mazer of Yosef, chasam pata mikriya shema la illusion. I'm not Shabbos. Let's say this, a chasam. It's part of from saying Kriyashma on his wedding night, right? Four nights. He gets four nights of Matzah Shabbos in Loasa Maisa. Meaning, let's say for whatever, he didn't consummate on Wednesday night. And, on, and then Thursday night, he's part of from saying Kriyashma because he's preoccupied, he's anxious with having beer with the psula. My love, the Torah, the boy, the metal. Yeah, you say for four nights. If he didn't do it Wednesday night, Thursday night. And then Thursday night, he's part of on Friday night from Kriyashma. Why? Because Rashi says, Osik Mitzvah Pat Mitzvah. Since he's Osik the Mitzvah of Bia, he's, and, and that's that's a complicated thing. He's nervous about performing Bia with a Psula. So he's Pat from Kriya Shema. So my love, the Torah, the Baila Mibble, because he has to do with Bia. It shows you that you could have Bia for the first time on Friday night. I'm going to low. The Torah, the low boil. <laughs> he's anxious that he, he's upset that he didn't do it yet. Mitzvah Shalobo also says Rashi. He's upset that he didn't do it. In other words, that, that we're, again, we're explaining the, the Shita who holds it. You can't have B on Friday night. Here it's Mashmi, you could have B on Friday night. Otherwise, why is he Potter from Kriyashma? He says, you know why he's Potter? Because he's upset that he didn't do it last night. He's upset about that. Amalei Rava, Umishim Tir the Potter, because you're upset or you're preoccupied, you're not, you're Potter from doing mitzvahs? If you're Osik in a mitzvah, if you're Osik in one mitzvah, you're preoccupied with that. Okay, you're Potter from the other one. But because you're upset, you think you're part of doing mitzvahs because you're upset? I think Elam- you'd want to say Krishna. Huh? I think you'd want to say <laughs> Pray. Yeah. Elam- Let's say you had a big loss. You know, uh, your, your ship just went down and you're upset. Or you have a business in Ukraine that just went <laughs> You just went down, oh, right? Right? We have things like that, right? How can I be the potter? Are you a potter from saying Krishna because you're upset? Because you had a business loss? Because something happened? Maybe that is the case. We're not talking about uh, an onane before the, uh, when he's osik in the midst of, of burying the dead. He's chayv in all mitzvahs. Except for film, she never went to air. Because they're a famous pasuk that Hashem told Yecheskel when Yecheskel's wife died, Percha Chava Shalecha, your tefillin, you should, you could keep your tefillin head, but everybody else doesn't because they're because they have like dirt on their, uh, you know, they have ashes and dirt on their head. They shouldn't have the tefillin or call pair. You shouldn't take it. You should. You should put the tefillin. Chutzman Tefillin Shnei Mem Da'er. So we today we we keep we do put on tefillin. We don't have the uh, filth with it. But any case though, but it's chayv in all mitzvahs, and you, you, even though he's upset. You know, he's upset about the morning. Just because you're upset doesn't mean that you're part of a mitzvah. Ella Marava. So therefore, Rava says, that's not an answer. That Tarla Boal. Clearly, it's mashma that you have, you are chayef. You could do be a first time on Friday night. That's why you're part of Krishna, because you're also in the mitzvah. Abai said, no, you're upset that you didn't do the mitzvah. Because you're upset is not a reason to be part of a mitzvah. And this would like say, since you say you're part of, must be your chayef. Ella Marava, Tanrahi. It's actually machlok is Tanrahi. What is, what is machlok is Tanrahi? Tonight, if Bila's Chabura is, is Bila uh, Chabura on Shabbos and it's Usr, like, like Rabbi Yehuda, Dovashin and Muscovin is Usr, even if it's not Psik Reisha, but we don't go with the other answers and say that it's a difficult pocket, or maybe holds like Rabbi Shimon, that Makalka Chabura is Chayav on Shabbos. Whatever the reason is, there's a Machlok Tzana, whether you can do it or not. The Tana, Tana Chari Im Loa Samai Saburisham, Potter Apesheni, Besheni, Potter Apeshlishi. Here he says, if you didn't do if you didn't consummate on Wednesday night, you're part of the Kriyashma on Thursday night. If you do it on Thursday night, you're part of the Kriyashma on Friday night. Why are you part of the Kriyashma? Because you're also going to miss because you could do beer. But Tanya and other brides said, no, Rishi Rishani Potter. You're Potter on Wednesday night or Thursday night if you haven't performed yet. Shlishi Chayev, Friday night, the third night, you're Chayev because you don't do the first on Friday night. So it's Machlis Taram. But Baye, Asam Nami Betir Depligi. 
Abaye goes on with his answer. Listen to this. Abaye said before, if you're upset, you're anxious, you're, you, you can, you're also part of the mitzvah. So he said, that's what he said before. He says, what, what, why was he anxious? Abaye, Abaye was trying to explain the, the, the svarah that you, can't do, you cannot do it on Friday night. And he said, so why are you put it from Kriyashma on Friday night for four nights? You're put it because you're upset because you haven't performed the mitzvah. That's machlokas. Are you put it because you're a Torah or not? The one who says that you, you're, you're put it on Friday night from Kriyashma is because he holds, even though you're a Torah, that you didn't do it. Not necessarily because you have to do it. You're, you're upset that you didn't do it yet. Therefore, you're also put it. The other one holds, no, the Torah is not. Now, Rashi says, okay, but didn't we say before that an Avel is chayv anyway? So Rashi explains neatly that an Avel's anxiety is not related to the mitzvah. There's a mitzvah to be in Avel. So, you know, a person has to mourn. And it's the morning. He has to go through and not wear the shoes and sit at home and, and then not learn Torah, all those things. There's no chayv to, to sit and, and, and be upset all day. There's no, you know, so, you know, there's no, there's no chayv that the person has to be, you know, tearing his hair out and, and being, being upset. That's not a mitzvah. Some people could be, are that way. If they're upset about their next of kin who passed away, they could be upset. But you don't have to be upset. That's not part of the mitzvah. As opposed to over here, that performing bia on the, on the girl, on his wife, is a mitzvah. So if you're upset about not being able to perform mitzvah, that's a valid, valid mitzvah. Even though the upset is that you didn't do it, but that's, that's a, that being upset, being, being anxious about a mitzvah. Whereas being uh, a velus, it's not a mitzvah to be, it's not a mitzvah to be upset. Rashi says over here, take a look at Rashi, Rabbi Yomilchav, Hanukhtar Namitir to Pligi. By the part of Mekriya Shema, Lamishim the Shari Lamevel, because he's explaining the idea of the Svara, that it's also to be on Friday. Elik Savar, Hamitzar, Tsar Shal Mitzvah, Potter, Mekriya Shema. You're upset about a mitzvah that you didn't do. You're part of Mekriya Shema, Velo Damil Avel, the Torah did the Rishus, that's the Rishus, she ain't Tsar a mitzvah. Tsar is not a mitzvah. If you can't do a mitzvah, if you can't do a mitzvah, that's a reason to be anxious. You can't do the mitzvah of, of you haven't performed, you haven't performed the mitzvah of Bia. That's the reason to be anxious. But that you're upset about uh, your loss of money or that you're upset about that somebody in your family passed away, that's not the mitzvah. The mitzvah is to follow the rules of the Chachamim. Afa Pisha Belasa mitzvah, the Bela is a mitzvah, but being upset is not a mitzvah. Okay. So the one who says, Yechayev says, no, that tier does not a potter, like, like Rabbi had said. Okay. In this machlokas karam, whether you could do be the first time on Friday night, whether it's a mitzvah and where you're supposed to do on Friday night, it's like the Tanya. Hakonis of Sula, if you marry a virgin, you shouldn't do it first time on Shabbos. You're, you're allowed to. Man chachamim, who are the chacham? Amar Rav, Rav Shimon. Dama davish and miskavim is mutter. Okay, davish and miskavim. That's we said. If you hold that it's mutter to do, pashim shabbos davish. Now we explained that according to Rav and Amar Aleph, Rav holds that it's that it's mutter also, even though he holds like Rav Yudah Dav Hashem is usher, but he also has a Rav that it's makalko b'chaburah is mutter, or it's at least potter, and therefore it's mutter with the mitzvah. Okay, so the Pashim shot is, though, why are you allowed to? Because Dav Hashem is mutter. Omalei Abaya, b'mutter of Shem of Resha, we had an Amad Aleph, we mentioned the other day also, Sik Resha below Yomus, what do you mean? Is it possible to have Bia with a psula without drawing blood? It's obvious it's going to happen. It's definitely, it's like cutting off the chicken's head, it's going to die, the same thing, Omalei. Local above, not like the Babylonian shame, the Kiambatia, who don't know how to have Bia with moving to the side so that the blood has not come out. Eliyesh, the Kiambatia. Many people, it's not, it's not inevitable that blood's going to come out. And it's possible to do Bia without having blood. Imkain, Torah, Lama. So why are you upset? And that's why, why, is he, why is he anxious and nervous about doing it if he's not? It's very simple to have it without having, without drawing blood. The assumption over here now is that the that the drawing of the blood causing the wound and all that is going to is going to make him anxious. What's the tarla? The shayna baki. Not everybody's a baki. So yomer baki motor shayna baki aser. What are you going to say now? A baki who knows how to have beer without drawing blood, he's allowed to. It's not inevitable. Shayna baki, the one who's not a baki, so he's definitely going to draw blood. And for him, it's also because it's uh, it's a uh, sick ratio. So there's no rov baki and name. Well, most people are baki. Hilkach Rashi says in the second of the wide lines. Hilkach stam lap sick ratio below yomusu. <clears throat> Since we go bus a row, most people know how to have beer without drawing the blood. Hmm? <laughs> Very good. They have, maybe they had other wives, you know, 
or they went to yeshiva in ninth grade, they learned about Tesla <laughs> Sukh. You know? And it's a very good question. Very good question. It bothered very me strange. too. Very strange. Right. Where, how did they learn this? They, how did they have experience? Uh, and the answer is they had many, many wives, right? They had many wives. So presumably, you know, they, they, had, they had polygamy then, or who knows, but they knew how to do it. All right. So, <clears throat> So it's not rabakin, and, and therefore it's no longer psikration. Amalei rava arav chanan labai el meyato shishvina lama mapalama. We'll see later on that when they had the bia again, what's the whole reason why he's doing it on Wednesday night? In case it turns out that she's not a virgin, while he's still upset, he'll go to best and 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 uh, complain, and uh, and they'll work this thing out. One of the things that they did is that they had like. The, the bride, the groom, you know, the groomsmen and the bridesmaids, they had, they set up Adam and the Shushvina in here with like their friends would come along to check right away to check to make sure that there's no, uh, well, that, that there's nothing wrong, meaning that, uh, that there, if there was blood, there was evidence to it. In other words, let's say a Napa Lama, the Napa, they would have a, they would do it with a Shmata there with, with a cloth so that if there was blood, they would have evidence of the blood. So if the guy came the next day and said he wasn't happy with his wife and she's not a virgin, they would have evidence to that effect. They weren't there at the B, of course, these people, but they were there right afterwards to check. What do you have these things for? If you're saying you can draw, you can have B, most people cannot have B without having dam. So what's the point of having these witnesses and having a cloth and all that to see if there was dam or not? What are they going to do? Most people can do with them. They were afraid maybe it will have blood and uh, somehow the thing will just, the, the proof will disappear. The, the, the shmata, right? The, um, the ed, we call that the ed, right? Will, will disappear. We have, will disappear. That's why we have the shishminan and the mapa. Okay, so we're going to say now, what are we saying now that uh, Rav said that it's mutter and the Chacham say that it all said it's mutter. We had other opinions that it's osur. Kamsfield Tanakama said it's osur. Chacham said that it's mutter, and we said that's Rabbi Shimon Olav Tavshem Miskavan is mutter. Tavshem Miskavan is mutter, and even if Rav held like Rabbi Yudah, Tavshem Miskavan is osur. But it could be either that Dam is mifket pocket and is makalkul on the Pesach or makalkul b'chabura. Must Rav Ami amapas mors b'shabbos if you if you pierce or try to drain an abscess on Shabbos, you got an abscess on your skin, and there's pus in there. And you want to get, get, uh, open up so that the pus goes out. So Amapas Mors Bashabas Imlas if you're trying to make an opening for it, you're trying to make an opening to make it look nice. You don't want it to look so disgusting. You want to have a, an opening there. Then you're Chayev. You're Chayev for Shabbos for Bona, Rashi says. That that's also considered construction, building. We had Rashi yesterday on yesterday's app also. Rashi, when we first when we first raised the question, when we said, <clears throat> uh, if you say that the dam is stored up, uh, is he just trying to let the dam out or is he trying to open an opening? Rashi says, Kibinyan. Here he says, it's Binyan. So if, you, if you're making an opening, you're Chayav on Shabbos. If you're just, if you're just trying to get rid of the pus, you want the pus to get out, maybe it'll get infected, you want to get out. You're Potter. So what do you see? So, and, and Potter, Rabbi Rashi says, You're allowed to do a chachila. Kashlamanda Osir, Nainami Lotzi Damu. Over here, you're also just taking out Damu. So, how can you say over here, how we had the Tanakama here said that uh, clearly, he said that, because you're going to draw out blood. But what's wrong with drawing out blood? When you draw out the pus, up here, you're just drawing out the pus. When you open up the uh, when you drain the um, the abscess, you're just drawing, just getting rid of the pus. So here also, you're just getting rid of the dam. So what's the what's the problem over here? Gemara says, "Hasam pocket here, hacha pocket here." Over there, the dam is not over there. The pus is not just stored up; it's also removed from the flesh. In other words, it's not in the flesh itself, and it's like totally outside of the body. It's like outside of the body, and therefore you're allowed to. If your purpose is only to drain it, it's mutt to do on Shabbos. But over here, it's stored up, but it's still somewhat in the flesh. Rashi says, uh, It's not in the flesh at all. It's not, it's not totally removed from the flesh. It's somewhat in the walls uh, in the walls of the vagina. It's not like regular dam that's inside your body. 
but it's 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 uh, somewhat stored and and it's a little bit in the flesh. So therefore, you could understand the shita that says that it's also to do on Shabbos because it because uh, it's uh, causing a chabura if you hold like Rabbi Yehuda and you don't like Rabbi Yehuda that makakum chabura is is also if you hold like Rabbi Shimon makakum chabura is chayev. So that's the sport. So again, we're trying to defend the one who says you cannot do it. I'm a little, um, um, uh, so about Rabami in the second line of the page says Rabami Shara the middle of the Shabbos. He allowed people to have beer for the first time with the psula on Friday night. Didn't do the ksuba. Now there's a question: When did they do the meal, etc.? All these, things. but apparently they had done the ksuba yet. So he said he says he allowed to do it first time on Friday night. Maybe they weren't anticipating it and they didn't draw the ksuba yet. They didn't sit down and write at the ksuba. So how can you use Friday night the ksuba? I'm a little at the and let her see some matalplin as a as a pledge as a uh, collateral until he gives her a proper ksuba, because the proper ksubas we're going to talk about, somebody mentioned yesterday, we haven't learned about ksubas yet, right? We're talking about everything else, but the ksuba, well, the ksuba has to be written where he uh, he gives her a lien on all his landed property, and all his real estate. So here you're saying that she can, she can take something for right now, just, you know, hold his the jacket. Precondition. Pardon? So the ksuba is a precondition to misuva. Correct. You, well, you, you know, yeah, you have to. You have to have when when you're married. You have to have your. It's also to be with his wife without having a ksuba. Now we'll talk. We mentioned the other day also that the, the there were times when they didn't have a written ksuba because of the because they're worried about uh, Ramayim that people would uh, collect twice or whatever, or she'd have to hold on to it and say she couldn't hold on to it in those days. It was very difficult to hold on to paper because uh, animals would eat it, and you know you didn't have storage and things like that. So there were loca- there were locales where they didn't actually write it down, or even if they did write it down, if you let's say you got married without a ksuba, you're still mechayiv to give her a ksuba. Let's say he never gave her a ksuba, he still has to give, he still has to do it. But over here the question was, how did you allow the chachila to have be on Friday night? There's no ksuba. The answer is she held some property. When did you, when did you hear this on Shabbos? Yeah, right. In other words, right. No, pr- presumably right before Shabbos. Like you said, you know, you can oh, go ahead with do it. Right. You don't have time to write it. So we write right before Shabbos, so she could grab some batal before I hold on to something. Rub Zvid, and, and also you could argue that he didn't really make a Kenyan. She could just, just you know, held it until he gives her a ksuba, whatever. But you could work that out. Let's say it was right before Shabbos, or she, uh, you know, you're not going to say she, but they, she wasn't holding the checks. Presumably they were muks, so you know, yeah, they had checks. They didn't have checks in those days. But whatever it was, she took some, she took his watch, right? Rub Zvid, Shar, the middle of the Shabbos. He also was mater. To have beef for the first time on Friday night. Again, some say Rav Zid Gufei Bavitzer. He himself married Absula on and had beef on Friday night. Rav Yudah Shar the Mevul Bichil Yant. He said he did it on Yant. Now, Ain Ben Shabbos Yant of Elchol Hav Shabbat. Our Rav Papa Mishmed Rav Alon Tem Rav Yant of Shari Hav Shabbos. Don't say he did it on Yant. Is it to say that on Shabbos it's also? Do I then feel Shabbos? Not on Shari. If it's Mutar on Yant, Mutar on Shabbos. Well, my Shishai Yikachah. He's just telling you that the story was that um, the story was that Rav Yudah. Will allow somebody to have a beer for the first time on, on Yantif night, on the night of Yantif, it would have done it for Shabbos too. He's just telling you that way. says, No, the Yantif Shari, he disagreed. In other words, Rapapa Shmei Rabba said, in the name of Rabba, it's a Rapapa, or Papi said, the name of Rabba, don't think that he just did on Yantif, but on Shabbos it's, it's also. If it's Mutter and Yantif, it's Mutter and Shabbos too. The story just happened to be with, with Yantif. Rapapa, and then this is, so Machlok is Rapapi and, and, and Rapapa in the name of Rabba. Rapapa Mishmed Rav Amar Biyantif Shari B'Shabbos Asos can't do on Shabbos only on on Amalei Rapapi L'Rapapa. So Rapapi said to Rapapa, I don't understand you. My Taita, what's your spar? Why it's only Mutar and Yantif not on Shabbos? You talk shoot or Chabur L'Tzar Ochot and Am Shol L'Tzar. What kind of Chabur are you allowed to do on Yantif? L'Chachila Shech, right? You're allowed to do Chabur. So what's your idea that we have the concept of talk shoot, which is Halacha Mosh Misina? We had that in other places. Since something was Mutar L'Tzar, it's also Mutar Shalal L'Tzar. That's why, for example, you can carry on Yantif because you can carry food, so you can carry your handkerchief also. My diet of Mitoshu Utzor Chabur Lutzor, since you can, since you're allowed to Lutzor of Ochon Nefesh, put an Amshal Lutzor, Elamiatu Mutor Lassus Mugmur Yantif, are you allowed to um, uh, heat up the, are you allowed to smoke the spices on Yantif? They would do, they would take spices to perfume the area or to perfume uh, the, the, the clothing. On Yantif, they would take spices and put them on hot coals. Are you allowed to do that also in Yantif? Since you're allowed to kindle on Yantif for food, and that's not the case. 
I'll tell you, that you can't speak Ashram Mugmar. There, the Pasuk says, something which is necessary for everybody to eat. And Mugmar is only for Mufunakim, people who are extremely, you know, uh, you know, particular. They, they, they need to be everything 100% clean. But most people don't do the Mugmar. So, therefore, you're not allowed to do it. But over here, it comes, it comes to talk about Dia on Yantan. Everybody, be, uh, having having deal with a woman is nece- is is necess- a necessity for everybody. So that applies to all people. So in a chanami on yontif, I could say we talk shul to chabul tzarich with nam shul tzarich. But on Shabbos, I'm not going to be matter chabul. I hold like Rabbi Yehuda. I hold like Rabbi Yehuda that it's what Rabbi Shimon Skalvin is also, and then we hold like Rabbi Shimon that a chabul that a mekalko b'chaburah is chayiv. So you could you could argue that Amal Rav Achabrei the Rav or Rashi. He said Rashi who said that idea. That you know, he said, uh, you know, why is it hook And he said, no, mugmer is different because that's not for everybody. Some which is for everybody, and it should. Most people don't have deer or venison on uh, food that let's say you happen to come across one yantam. Since most people don't eat that, you can't shecht it. I know it's not it's it's something that anybody can partake in. It could be. It just don't it just most people don't don't have access to a deer, but it is for everybody. Whereas Mugmur, uh, regular people, more poor people don't even do that at all. So therefore, therefore you can argue this argument and say that it's only mutter, it's mutter and yantav mitok shalosarch, since Khabura's mutl sarch, it's mutter shalosarch also. And therefore. Even though when we say shalot zarech, it means shalot zarech or chol nefesh, but it is a zarech l'chol nefesh. It is a chol asher chol chol nefesh, something which is a l'chol nefesh. Again, even though it's not, it's the, the concept of chutra means since it's chutra l'zarech chol nefesh, it's also chutra shalot zarech, but it's still l'chol nefesh. It's got to be l'chol nefesh, and bia is l'chol nefesh. Amar Rabbi Yaakov Baridi, Torah Rabbi Yochan b'Tzayin also the Tzu B'Shabes. Rabbi Yaakov in that city. Yeah, and he said that Rabbi Yaakov already said that Rabbi Yochanan inside on ruled that you cannot have beer the first time on Friday night. In this whole discussion that we're having, he holds like the opinion of the first opinion of the Bryce that we brought down on Ahmed Bey's that Konis Sapsula Loyal Shabbos. That's his opinion. So he goes, So first the first question is, what do you mean he was Mora Halacha? You see, Hora means that you rule. When you're Matra something, they use the rules, he ruled this way. To say that it's also, you don't need a ruling. Anybody could just say, well, I don't know, so we'll machmer. To go, to go the chumrah, you could always, you don't need a ruling to say it's also, right? Mikorola Isra, Mikorola says, Rashi says, Umikori Isra, or Mishim to call out Mishoy Lachmer. You could always be machmer, but also, ain't that smichas varum. If an Asr is not a person who puts things together, Shafilim in a Suffolk chain, a lach of rule, even if you don't know, Bob Oser, that's not a hurrah. Of a matter, if to be matter something, to permit something, that's hurrah. You're something that you heard, something that you learned, or a spara. So, what do you mean, hurrah, Lis? He says, no, sometimes you do use lush of hurrah for Isra too. Ain't but time, hurrah, bezin, hurrah, basil, shetain, zero, o shevisham. In the case of Eleni Amalka, she made a netter that she'll be in the zero seven years if her son comes back from the war. And then when she came, that was in Chutzlars, when she came to Eretz Yisrael, they still said you have to be in Eretz Yisrael another seven years, because in Chutzlars it didn't count, and you have to do seven years too. So here it's an Isser, and they also is Harua. Uh, if the spinal cord that it, it, is ruptured, Rubo, is that a tray for not? Rubo, Diver Rebbe says it's mostly, uh, if it's mostly uh, severed, then it's a tray for. And of course, you couldn't eat that animal. Rabbi Yaakov, Omar, Afil, Nikav, even if it's got a puncture. And however, Rebbe, Rabbi Yaakov, Rebbe, who said most of it, he was Paskin, like Rabbi Yaakov, even though Rabbi Yaakov went, the Chumrah, even a small hole. So you see that Haraz also lose the Lashon of Chumrah, even though it's easy to be Machmer, you don't have to be a big time of Chachmer, Machmer, but it's still called Lashon of Haraz. Omar, Afuna, Enoch, Rabbi Yaakov, the Halach is not like Rabbi Yaakov, which Rabbi Yaakov do we mean here? What we said before, Rabbi Yaakov, Rabbi says, Haraz, Rabbi Yaakov, Ram, Saidon, also live over the start of Shabbos. So he means no. But we don't pass like with this that Rabbi Yaakov brought down the name of Rabbi Yochanan that you can't have beer for the first time on Friday night, but rather, but rather that uh, you could have beer for the first time on Friday night. Rabbi Nachman Yitzchak Masni Hachi Amr Ravu he learned it this way. Amr Ravu Shal Rabbi Shmuel Ben Yaakov Ben Sur Rabbi Shmuel Ben Yaakov from Sur asked Rabbi Yochanan Fit Saidon. He asked him this question. By Nachman and I heard it. And Ravu says Rabbi Shmuel says that I heard it. Malu B'Tchil B'Shabbos for Amr Lei. 
Osir, and he told him that it's Osir. In other words, he heard the story that way. He heard the story that way. He says that Lach is not like Rabbi Yaakov, but Rabbi Yaakov is learning this way, that again, Rabbi, either way, Rabbi Yaakov, uh, the way Rabbi Yaakov brought down the story, Rabbi Yochanan Paskin, that it's Osir, but the Gemara finds that it ends off in this whole discussion, the Gemara Paskins that you're allowed to be for the first time with the Psula on a Friday night. All right, we'll stop here. We'll pick him here tomorrow, Mitzvah. Have a good day, everybody. Stay.